Our today's topic is Avogadro's number and mole, and this topic is given on your textbook on page 18 and 19. You can see page 18 of your textbook. As you can see, the name of topic Avogadro's number and mole mentioned here. Now let us discuss Avogadro's number in detail. First of all, let me tell you how Avogadro's number is defined. Avogadro's number is an experimentally determined number having a value 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23. And Avogadro's number is represented by the symbol capital N and capital A, that is NA. Now let us uh, discuss Avogadro's number in a little bit detail. Avogadro's number is used by chemists to count number of particles in a substance, just like a dozen is used to count eggs or oranges. For example, let me ask you a question. How do you count shoes? Okay, so as shoes come in pairs, so you would count them in pairs rather than individually. Similarly, eggs, oranges, etc. are counted in dozens, but paper by rim. Thus, the counting unit depends on what you are counting. Now, let us discuss mole. Mole is defined as an amount of a substance that contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles of that substance. And just as a dozen eggs represent 12 eggs, a ream of paper represent 500 papers. Similarly, a mole of substance represents 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 representative particles of a substance. A mole of a substance contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms, molecules or ions of that substance. Here are a few examples of mole. For example, a mole of carbon contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 carbon atoms. A mole of sulfur contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 sulfur atoms. Similarly, a mole of water contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 water molecules. So it means that one mole of every substance contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms, molecules or ions. Before discussing molar mass in detail, let us try to answer a few questions. What is the mass of one mole of carbon, that is carbon atoms? Uh, then another question, does a dozen eggs have same mass as a dozen bananas? Then does a mole of carbon atoms have a different mass than a mole of sulfur atoms? Now let us discuss molar mass. Molar mass is defined as the mass of one mole of a substance. Now based on this definition, let us try to answer the questions which were asked in the previous slide. That is, what are the molar masses of carbon and sulfur? And answer to this question is that as the mass of one mole of carbon is 12 gram, thus its molar mass will also be 12 grams. Similarly, as the mass of one mole of sulfur is 32 gram, thus its molar mass will also be 32. And students, uh, you know that you have already learned how to calculate molar masses on page 14 and 15 of your textbooks. Let us discuss the relationship between mole and Avogadro's number. As we discussed in the definition for mole that one mole of any substance contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles of that substance. For instance, water exists as molecules. Therefore, one mole of water contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 water molecules and hydrogen exists as molecules. Therefore, one mole of hydrogen contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 hydrogen molecules. Similarly, carbon exists as atoms. Therefore, one mole of carbon contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 carbon atoms. Let us discuss that how the topic of Avogadro's number and mole is applied to technology and science. You know that entire population cannot count one mole of coins in a year. 
they need about 1 million years to count them so when counting a pile of coins it would not be convenient to count them one by one and the concept of mole has given a very simple method to count large number of items mole is not only a number but also represents definite amount of a substance just as uh, 6.02 2 10 raised to the 23 carbon atoms weigh 12 grams 6.02 2 10 raised to the power 23 coins will also have a definite mass so an easy way is to weigh them if you know the mass of one coin you can count them by weighing thus if we know the mass of one mole of a substance we can count the number of particles in it by weighing it at the end of the lesson let us revise the important concepts which we have learned today uh, today we learned the definition of avogadro's number that is avogadro's number is an experimentally determined number having a value 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 then we learned definition of mole a mole is an amount of a substance that contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles of that substance uh, then molar mass the mass of one mole of a uh, substance is called its molar mass and then we learned that if we know the mass of one mole of a substance we can count the number of particles in it by weighing it